uh, yes, lunch would be wonderful. Um, I don't know my way around, so somebody's going to have to help. Uh, the, the, the servants will come and ask Boswick um, if he needs anything. And Boswick says, you do not have to ask me that question anymore. You are not my servants. You can do whatever you wish. Um, I, let, I set you free a long time ago. Just because we're back in our land once again does not change that. And the servants, um, they seem a little taken aback, like, but, but, oh, okay. Like they don't know what to do themselves. I'm sure that you all can enjoy the, uh, the, the meals here and we can find uh, places for you all to settle back again and start new lives anew here. But for the time being, let us wine and dine. Because I miss that very much. <laughs> well, uh, if no one else does, I'll start leading the way. I'll just loop my arm and follow oh. me. <laughs> I, know, I know Boswick's going to go follow Andrea. So. Well, I built the place, so let me show you guys around. <laughs> Thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, guys. Yes. <laughs> He's, he's going to like very proudly as like whoever's following Theo, you know, he's just going to be like, and this is where I built the, uh, hang on, I need to check the map. <laughs> he doesn't say that. Uh, <laughs> does. um, this is the beach and that's my laboratory and that's the breaking in and the food court over here. If you continue moving right, we have the guest quarters past there is the temple of Andraste. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> The food court was, in course, devised by my good self with the finest stone. You have stone, right? Yes. Yes, we, yes, we have the stone. The finest stone. <laughs> and he's just going like, to be very tour guide -y as he leads you in. So don't take this the wrong way. The Kyle, he would have introduced, he, he's already introduced yourself, mm -hmm. Lieutenant Jenny. Don't get this the wrong way, but um, you're, uh, you don't have electricity do you here do you know what electricity is no <laughs> well out of character i think you know what electricity is but probably not in the way that he's implying because you know, I, I thought i thought like light. Has, i thought what cedric has is lightning not necessarily electricity that's true that's yeah. true. You might refer to it as lightning, not electricity. All right, so you'll say no. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. I had to think about it, but no. Electricity is like lightning in a rope. Ah, we do have that. Yes, my yes, friend yeah. Cedric is an excellent source of lightning. Well, that, explains, <laughs> that explains them not having phones. He's a source of lightning. Yeah. He has aura abilities. Is that what you're saying? No, he doesn't, though. No, more like, you know, shocky shocky. So aura abilities. Sure. Uh, you know, he, he shoots the stuff and stuff happens. If that's aura in your world, then sure. Makes him Could move really fast. It, it, you know, it shoots him forward and he moves really fast. So are did, you what a chase ask? Are you granted gifts by the gods as well, then? God. God? What? There's only one Pokemon god here. Legendary? Which one is it? Arceus is here as well. The, the stone. Uh, or the maker, depending on your viewpoint. We have different pantheons. So, Moo. The mother. Do you have a cow with you? You, not Moo. Like a rat. And what's a cow? Yeah. <laughs> this is worse than the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> aliens? Uh, uh, aliens? We may yeah. have like, different like ultras. We, uh, if, yeah. uh, our, okay, so we have the Maker, which is an. Uh, omnipresent, omnipient uh, being that um, many Arceus. people in status okay. serve. Um, and uh, my people worship the stone, which is um, like worshipping the essence of earth. 
essentially we you know our bodies are born from earth and we are given back to the earth um so ground types so like Thonius. sure um <laughs> uh, then the ava um worship um sky deities so kind of like air i guess um the lady of the skies for example is a, a figure that um you know, com comes in the shape of birds, and um, the Avar worship the sky. Flying type. Sure. Three birds. Okay. Okay. I think that's every religion in our group. <laughs> Hasn't the gods died before? Just out of curiosity. Uh, the stone never dies. Um, uh, one of the essential stories of the maker um, is that uh, a figure called Andraste died um, for us. Uh, and that's why the maker turned his back on us. Uh, I don't think there's anything like that in Avar, but then I don't really listen to Kenna. <laughs> is Kenna in this group Kenna? right now? <laughs> I'm invisible. I went invisible, and I've been sneaking around people. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Kenna, you're just observing. Earlier against you if they have backpacks, <laughs> <laughs> or like they've got these. Do you guys have your little pokeballs on your belts? <laughs> Molly does. Molly yeah. does. Tiffany mm -hmm. has. I really want to touch Cassie them. Cassie does. <laughs> sure, you can poke them if you want. Poke the pokeballs. I don't want to let them know my presence, though. So I've just been like. Right. Trying to unzip the backpacks and I'm going. <laughs> just ask, where did the girl go? There was another person, wasn't there? Oh, oh the, the one bear tick bear? The one with the weird bear tick? Yeah. Yeah, he, he kind of freaked her out, so she she did a thing. I, I think she's she's around okay. here somewhere. We just probably can't see her. Oh, mm -hmm. another stealth another stealthy person. That's that's great. She, Titan she's... strip on bag under arm. <laughs> can she turn into flower pots too? Yeah, can she? I, I haven't it's... asked. Um... <laughs> she can make berries. She can make berries. Oh, what kind of Poca berries? Poke berries? Uh, that's not what they're called here. Um, they, they heal. Um, they make you feel better. Oh, poke berries. Huh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Maybe we have similar things, just different names for them. I don't know. I've noticed that you don't have very many Pokemon here. I've only seen one so far. Pokemon. Creatures that are not humans, basically. Uh, animals? Animals. Yeah. Animals? Not A little really, smarter. But... Animals? animals that's weird i don't think you guys know what an animal is yeah oh. <laughs> you call everything else pokemon <laughs> i mean there's they're the humans and then there's the pokemon. monsters out of character <laughs> they're all also considered monsters pocket but monster pocket monsters or pocket animals or whatever pocket yeah pokemon animals <laughs> <laughs> words <laughs> In our world, there, there are many of them running around all over the place. Unless, for whatever reason, this place is secluded. This, or this place purposely keeps them out for some reason. Um, we're a service facility, so we don't really allow many animals um, uh, here. Uh, aside from Esbjorn, but I can't do anything about that. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I think the guests would be kind of disturbed if we brought a bunch of wild bears in. Well, they're not wild. Yeah, you oh. want to meet one? Uh, he looks at Cedric. <laughs> no, we do not want to meet one. <laughs> oh, but that's charming. Uh, Come on, he's, he's probably really hungry. And if we're going to eat, I want to make sure he gets something. It, where is he? He eats, and he eats polka berries, so if your friend can make berries... Do, do you summon them? Like, I don't see a, a person which to There's fear. really nothing to fear. They're, they're not really real, per se. They're just 
they're not real like humans are real they're more it like was beings very like... real well no they're, oh. i mean they're real they exist but they're more like beings of energy with they sort of have these single f- focuses and they can evolve sometimes and um and yeah they're just they're friendly monsters this was a friendly monster well he's he's in here if you're curious she's holding out a ball can can Thea's gonna like reach out like is he allowed to touch it you can touch it if you push this button he'll come out <laughs> somebody tried this game with me before all right so do you grab a hold of it yeah he's gonna grab a hold of it describe describe actually describe um bullets pokeball it's uh it's actually a moon ball so it's got a it's got a black it's got a uh, black top and it's got a crescent moon on the top of it it's actually very beautiful it's very shiny whoever made it actually had a very extremely good craftsmanship um, associated with it so it definitely uh, looks like a very nice object I'm not going to do it, but um, he's going to ask, like, okay, so what happens if you push the thing? Well, um, well, Bullet will come out. That's his name, by the way. And he's, he's pretty big, but don't, there's nothing to worry about. He's encased in this thing? Yeah. Uh, I don't know the technology. Uh, Cassie's the one to ask about that, but... Yeah, he's he's inside of there. Cat, kind of like an in, interdimensional space in here. They just get summoned like, I don't know. They come out, they sort of look transparent at first, and then they just form into bodies. It's they also probably existence. important to read the chat real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Is this actually uh, happening in character? Uh, she nods. She says yes. Oh, I see. I just, when they were talking oh, about it, and then I went to people's notes, and I started... Which I person... Whoever's in the back, because I would be in the back. So whoever's lingering in the back, and they've got Pokeballs on Probably the Probably Cassie, right? Definitely push it, them it, off. It probably <laughs> will be Cassie, but Cassie only has one Pokeball on her at the moment, and it's at the front of her belt, and when the button is pressed, nothing happens. Oh, damn. Okay. The, when your button is pressed, nothing happens. Did you want to press another button? It was probably uh, just decorative. Cassie notice it? If you want to press the button, like, it's not, like it. is it on, yeah. where where on the belt is it? Because if it's front and center, Cass is probably gonna feel. If it, yeah, if it's too yeah. obvious, I would go to someone who's got it on their sides, like where it's not obvious, so I could just. Doesn't uh, Ella's Ella's is on her side? Okay, you want to try to get Ella's instead? Sure. Yeah. Somewhere they wouldn't notice, right. and I could just. Boop, 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 boop. All right. I mean, Ella's gonna notice. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. So Ella, you're gonna push. You're gonna push Ella's button. <laughs> um, Sam's gonna push Ella's button, and then um, uh, a fen- it's a fennekin is what it's called emerges. It's this little fox here, fox looking Pokemon. Um, but it's interesting because his fur almost looks like flames, almost. And uh, it, uh, Remy, you look around and you seem to be in some sort of a cavern of some sort with, with a bunch of people that you don't recognize. He puts his ears back and his tail goes between his legs and he starts back shuffling towards Noir as soon as he comes out of the ball. Remy, you, you're out. That's Noir? all she'll say. Uh, I didn't push anything. Oh, that one's not mine. That one's Noir's. Uh, I'll probably take Remy. a step back and uh, uh, put his hand on his hilt, not drawing his sword, but uh, ju- it's kind of like a just a reaction out of out of. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, Theo is gonna hand the ball back to Molly. Uh, can we not push buttons and summon things right now, please? please uh, okay. Remy looks at the Ursa rig, <laughs> and his ears perk up. And he starts to growl, and it, s- smoke starts coming out of his ears. Remy, and he says, "Not again." It's not going to attack us. It's okay. The Esbjorn looks at uh, Remy, and Remy, you hear it say, "What a curious-looking creature!" 
you're not your kind's not gonna hurt us this time i've been preparing myself he t he tilts his head and says our kind is very powerful those are bold words to say from a little runt like yourself oh no oh giddy <laughs> says if I, if any frost comes out of you if i see any ice on these grounds i will burn everybody here mm. <laughs> the uh roll uh roll an intimidate roll an intimidate remy seven <laughs> comes uh, like the bear the bear laughs at you <laughs> he says I admire your spunk, little one. I admire your spunk. I was just like you once. If they're growling at each other, could I cast Speak with Animals and see if I can listen to their conversation? <laughs> yeah, cast Speak with Animals. Yeah. I think I have to drop the cast... ability to do that, though. You do? No. So I'll drop it. So you drop it and you will cast speak with animals and you can actually hear the tail end of that conversation so you can actually hear remy what was the last thing that remy said if any frost comes out of you if, if i see any ice on the ground i will burn you all and then the bear ba responds by saying by by laughing you don't you don't find his words particularly intimidating um kenna you actually kind of kind of cute oh the little oh. foxy thing thinks he's all tough <laughs> Oh, and Esbjorn kind of reacts the same way and and responds the way I responded. What a cute little thing you are. Ooh. He smirks a little bit to the side, actually, if he hears that. <laughs> yeah, he can entertain me. Cute? You think, you think that runt is cute? Be nice, Esbjorn. Uh, Remy will approach Esbjorn. I am being nice. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> Snuff him up for lunch <laughs> at the mere sight of him. He looks like he'd be a little spicy, actually. Remy uses hypnosis. <laughs> okay. Oh, the no, the on, on, on who? On Esbjorn. On who? On Esbjorn. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll your, uh, roll your hypnosis. I think it's this roll right here. 18. All right. So you cast hypnosis. Anyone who's watching notices something weird's going on with, uh, with this fox creature as he's looking at the bear and then Esbjorn says this little runkin this little runkin hmm. does Esbjorn do a real safe? nah, nah. nah. He's, his guard is down his guard is he's totally got this this little runt underestimated like he's underestimated his runt big time so he's like he just falls asleep and he starts snoring very loudly and then Remy, Remy does this prance <laughs> And he, he crawls on top of his bear. Ah, look what I just did. And he sits on top of I his stomach. I took down the big bad bear. He's dick. <laughs> he starts like plucking at his fur. And they just like. Oh, hello there. Oh, 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 fox. Get out of here. You shoot. <laughs> hey, you, you, you. You're all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> Cedric draws his sword at that. And he's just like, all right. I don't like this. Lunch. No, I'm gonna like insert herself feet. between Cedric and Remy. Like she'll be like in the way. Don't you dare touch him. Listen here, mage. You just summoned a minor rage demon, okay? Well, that was that rage was demon? me. I I pushed the ball. I was curious. Why am I not surprised? Great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's got Why do you have a for? Why do you have a minor rage demon on your rage demon? I can understand yeah. him. And if that's true, that means he's an animal, not a demon. So you're okay. He's just You can speak with Pokemon? The lieutenant asks. Yes, I am amazing. Sir, you work with someone who can speak with Pokemon. <clears throat> Yes, but these people don't actually have Pokemon here. That person actually is from our world. Well, they do. Little Remy, or boy or folks, or whatever you are. Fennekin. I'll say, yeah, Remy's his name. Yeah, you hear him saying Fennekin, Fennekin. Okay, well, <laughs> then that's what I'm saying too, because. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, can I say Fennekin, Fennekin, Fennekin? Look, I trust animals more than I trust people sometimes. They go by instinct. So, tell me about these people. Are they good? Are they nice? Do you they're like your partner? They're trying to save the world, if that means anything. The world. I, I know what that's like. Do you like them? I don't like anybody, but I suppose they're fine. I saw them making plans to do well, okay. to do good, to save people. They talk to the gods, sort of, or the gods talk to them. <gasps> Give them powers, and, and I guess they have they have some sort of purpose. Mm. So that's good by me. All right. The Thank real you. question is, are your people good, or should we be worried? Oh, no, we're good. Much of the same, actually. Gods talked to us. We did as they asked, saved the world, became heroes. Is is your Pokemon going to cause trouble? We've we have... <laughs> I don't have a good I don't have a good experience. I don't have a good he's... experience with these bear tick things. I they really hurt he's... us. The same as no, he won't be a problem. He's good. <laughs> He's just protective is all. Can you put him in your ball? My what? All the, the thingy? Your ball. Yeah. Where we all no. go. No. No. Don't have those. He's you never free purchased one? To do as he pleases. Oh, so like... And well, I mean, he stops because he, he doesn't... He looks around, he's looking for Fern. He gets a little bit confused and he'll back up off the bear. He's like, well, I don't know where I am and I'm sort of scared. Do you like cookies? I pulled out the cookie I had earlier. They taste like tree? They've got like, little, my berries in them. So it's like strawberries. It's the good the, berries that I make from the ground that help you heal. So they taste a little bit like the roots is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I'll try one. He'll, he'll take one. You're going to nibble on it. So it doesn't quite taste like roots, but um, the berries, the berry part of the cookie tastes unlike any berry you've ever tasted. And the sheer exotic flavor of it makes you want another one. You, you really, it's, it tastes really good. You really would like another one, or at least more of the berries, at least. He approaches Kenna some more and starts pawing. Oh, he's so cute. I give him another one. <laughs> Molly, Molly will see this happening and she'll, she'll say, Hey, um, uh, do you, would you mind giving, giving mine some? Oh, sure. What's yours look like? Molly lets out bullet. <laughs> All right, she's gonna let out bullet, and what emerges is a rather large Pokemon that looks like this. It's large enough so that two people could ride on on its back. Oh my gosh! Um, two people can ride on its back. Um, and bullet, what is uh since since um Kana can speak to animals, what does how does bullet react in this new surrounding, and what does he say? Oh, well, um, I don't think he says anything, but um, so when he's first released, he looks kind of gloomy, um, but upon realizing that he does not recognize his surroundings at all, you know, he perks up a little and he looks around until he finds Molly and then he looks around at the new people. Seems rather confused. <laughs> Molly, will, Molly will go up and she'll, she'll, uh, she'll pat, pat him around the face and say, hey, hey, buddy, you did, you did great back there. You got us out of that. And he'll he'll weakly smile and just give a little nod. <laughs> and Molly sees him weakly smile, and she looks a, she looks concerned, and she says, "Bullet, are, are you doing okay?" Um, he'll, he'll he'll pause a moment, and then his like ears will twitch, and uh, he'll just he'll grin and give a quick nod after that. But Molly, knowing him very well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
she'll she'll save that for later then. <laughs> <laughs> so um, she turns back to Kenna. So um, Cookie. Oh yeah, uh, you're a little bigger than the tiny little um, fox. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 While Kenna's distracted feeding the other Pokemon, Theo's gonna crouch down next to Remy and go, I saw what you did with the bear. Good job. <laughs> and then he's gonna point to Kenna. <laughs> and he's gonna stand up like he did nothing. <laughs> nice. So, Bullet, do you accept the cookie? Yeah, uh, upon being offered it, he perks up and glances them all, even back to the cookie and just. Is that for me? Hi, it is if you'd like it. Oh. She, 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 re she actually <laughs> responded back in your language. So then he'll definitely like perk up again. Like this is just all surprising to Bullet so far. <laughs> you can understand me? I can. <laughs> Does that mean we're in a dream? <laughs> No, we're in a cave. Oh, caves are okay. <laughs> and he'll nice. take the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Double dishes. <laughs> you eat the cookie, and and like so for Remy, he he definitely favors the the berries more than the cookie itself. Although the cookie itself is fine, you probably like the the cookie and the ba the berries in combination with each other. And I would say that one cookie is definitely not enough for you. It's just like <laughs> unlike any other cookie that you've ever had before. It's it's just something about it is just so out of this world. <laughs> So despite whatever emotions he might be going through, um, he seems to be putting those aside a little bit for the moment. <laughs> he just, you know, utters a little woe, looks at Kenna again, like, do you have more? I do, if you'd like them. But you have to answer a question for me first. Okay. Okay, don't worry, it's easy. Okay, I asked your wait, friends wait, here. Wait, she, she just said one question, but she's gonna ask two. <laughs> you want one of these again? <laughs> I know you told me this story and it was confusing. It was very confusing. But I think I got good at it. <laughs> right. All right, stranger lady, I'm ready. Thanks, your fox. He's right. I asked him a couple questions. Uh, do you like this person? And, you know, the people that you're working with? Do you, do you like them? What you're doing? Are they good people? Well, they're the best people. And the girl? Oh, well, I mean, like, she's she's the best, best person. And then the others are, like, the, the other best people. So if I have to pick one best, then, like, it's her. But the others are good, too. Oh, he likes you a lot. I tell, I tell Molly. <laughs> I, I love him too. I raised I raised him from a baby, actually. Oh, I did too. That's rare and that's no worries <clears> there. <sighs> I was a really good baby. Oh, he's so cute. I was a little intimidated by your size, but you're adorable. <clears throat> oh, thank you. As if in reaction, <laughs> as Gary snores louder. He snores even louder. Is he going to be asleep all day? Can you... Can you... Can I wake him up? I asked the little fox. <laughs> you can wake him up as long as you control him. He's fine. Wake up, Hasbjorn! <laughs> oh, what, 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 oh, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yes, that runt has got nothing on me. Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> and then he finally looks towards Bullet's direction and says, Oh, another one. <laughs> You're larger. A very impressive, Esbjorn. Who are you? Uh, I'm Bullet, and I was just getting cookies. Oh, oh that's right. Here you go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> as large and intimidating as you look, you must be the hold beast of this group. And while he's saying that, Bullet's just like crawling over on three wings, one wing holding a cookie toward Molly. Oh! <laughs> Hold beast, but he doesn't have any hands. What's he holding? 
<laughs> hold beast, like the hole, like where you live. This like... creature, this creature is a creature that demands respect. You must be the leader. I yes, am. I am. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, remember we decided that I was the leader. I think I decided that I was, but you were going to just be my lieutenant. No, I distinctly remember at the van, we said that I, the smart one, was the leader. <laughs> I wasn't at the van. Who are you talking to? I think well, you I made this the up. Rest of the group. I think you're imagining things again, Bullet. I think you're just you're just imagining things. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. We can wait until we get back then. Okay. Are you just going to let him speak to you like that? He says to Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> well, how else should he speak to me? I can understand him. You're the whole beast. You sh you should stand your ground, like me. He says as he looks towards. Remy, and he's, he sort of growls at him threateningly with a roar. <laughs> so what you're saying is, the, is the, the whole beast sleep a lot. Is that what you're saying? Oh, Remy, I'm just going. <laughs> are you implying he walks slowly towards you? Like, As the arm. are you implying <laughs> hypnosis? <that> I <laughs> am lazy? He says, He'll say, are you implying that I am lazy? <laughs> <laughs> he starts snoring again. He falls asleep. And then he turns to Polly and he's like, I can only do that twice. <laughs> Polly, 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 Ken, no, I probably heard that. Look back toward Ken and like, I do like to sleep a lot. Uh, <laughs> and maybe you are oh. the whole beast. Is that what you guys do? You just put people to sleep. Well, I don't really do that, but I can make people confused. You can you can make them confused, like yeah. you just say you something. Or... Okay. Okay. So then he'll he'll turn back toward the group and just kind of like look at them for a bit, um, and then he'll he'll settle his gaze on Cedric. He want to do that. Huh? Uh, and he casts Confuse, right? All right, so let's see what you got. Ten. Ten. All right. Um, Cedric, roll a will. <laughs> Problem is, oh. Cedric's will is probably really strong. Seventeen. Okay. All right. So, Cedric, you feel something weird coming over you. You're starting to feel a little... I don't know, like... Like you're not really sure what's going on. You're, you're getting sort of a high, semi sort of a high, but then you shake it off. You're able to shake it off, and the effects like the effects don't quite grab a hold of you. But Can I strange. tell where that came from? I'm gonna say roll a perception. Okay. Roll a perception. A, a giant bat did just turn and look at you. A giant bat did just start looking. So your perception is not. I'm not. Yeah, you're gonna notice. That. You're gonna notice it came from the big giant bat. Molly will be right. talking to Bullet and saying, "Saying Bullet, no, 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 no confusion." Are you confused, Cedric? Wait, it didn't work, right? It worked for like yeah, it didn't half work. a second, it didn't, and I shook it off. It, it didn't actually work. You, but you you noticed that you noticed that it happened. But it man, didn't. that experience must have been confusing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, lightning charge over and attack. No, no, I was right there. I said, did it work? I was right I, there, and I told, I said, did it work, Cedric? Chase doesn't intercept. <laughs> oh, well, he doesn't. I said to him. Uh, One thing at a time. You know, you you what? cast magic on what? Cedric. Also, right? does it intercept? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ian, why must you tackle him? I'm pretty sure he's not into you. I'm right in front of him. Wait. <laughs> While this is happening, Andrea, you're you're off with Boswick, correct? Yeah, um, I'm giving him wine. I I uh, I'm drinking some pie juice, and we're kind of chilling out, <laughs> catching up. <laughs> Probably wondering where the rest of us have gone. Yeah, I expect they were following us, but you know, whatever. 
Boswick has his uh, the wine glass, you know, delicately in his hand, and he takes a sip and says, "Ah, I haven't had a nice fine glass of wine in ages." Did you know that I spent half of my time at the other world at an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting? What? Andrea. What? Why? <laughs> they had food. Oh, that's fair. That's what it is. <laughs> the other world, the other world is very, very strange, Andrea. But the people there are just like the ones here. Both the good and the bad. Gullible. <laughs> they can certainly be, yes. But I guess it doesn't matter which world you're in. Everyone has their own problems. Everyone has their own issues. And as he's saying that, you can hear the cackle of thunder and lightning. Um... <laughs> I'm going to be like, hold that thought, darling. Um, my husband is going to kill someone. <laughs> <She's> like... <laughs> and she... I take it this is, an, this is a common occurrence? No, but when it happens, it sure is exciting. Excuse me. <laughs> he will nod as you go off. Cedric, um, everyone who is watching notices that Cedric's body turns into surging electricity. His very being is now um, pure electrical energy. And he zaps like in a blink of an eye from where he is over to where Bullet is. Um, like a streak of lightning, and you make a slash attack. I think yeah. you're gonna make an attack on Bullet. Go ahead. Like that. That's electricity, right? That is electricity. <laughs> this is a, like can... this is electricity type damage, Bullet. Mm -hmm. Can the one that um, oh, I was having a miss with kinesis? Okay. Sure, you can do kinesis. <laughs> What's the one thing right next to you? You just got bowled over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No one heard me. I heard you. Oh, what can I do? <laughs> so the accuracy roll receives a minus four penalty. So did you roll your, is the 21, Cedric, your attack? Yes. Okay. So um, what is, so that would be, if it was a minus four penalty, it would be a 17 instead of a 21 against, against uh, bullets. I'm trying to remember, do you guys, bullets doesn't have, you guys don't have AC, do you? What you have instead no, is the it's either hits. No, the moves AC, basically. Right, it either hits or he does it. I'm going to say we that. Have, we I have um, dodge, basically, that we can add to it. Evasion bonuses. He has... What's yeah. your, what is your dodge and evasion? He has six speed evasion. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I'm going to say that... Hold on, Hart, will... so just, be, just in case, because this might matter for your description. So uh, just to be clear, so a swift move, a swift intercept is not, is not allowed because he's lightning. This is an automatic hit. Because of lightning, or does Chase get the swift intercept? Because you can do that as a, uh, you can just step in the way of bullet and take the hit. Is he standing adjacent to him? Because he can, he can move. Lightning. He, yeah, so he can move a, a certain number of. Um, I'm gonna say that as fast as Chase is, he's not as fast as Cedric. The lightning. Okay. Cedric's way too fast. I mean, I do think that's fair with enhanced speed like that. In this case. Yeah. Could could Molly activate lightning rod? Yes, she can. She's, getting, <laughs> she's doing that. She's doing that. She's activating. Uh -huh. Yes, she can. She's, so, um, she's activating lightning, Rod. You won't be as fast to move to get to where Cedric is, but I'll say that I'll give you. Well, do this. Um, what is your speed? Well, I mean, lightning rod will draw them. <laughs> The lightning attack into the person. Yeah. yeah. Right? But I want to make sure that she activates it before he connects. Oh, gotcha. Uh, and actually, that might just be for special attacks, too, not physical. Okay. Right. And technically, that's a ranged attack. I don't think this is necessarily a ranged attack. But um, what is your speed, just out of curiosity? Uh, 23. 23? Oh. All right. Um, Cedric, mm -hmm. roll a initiative, please. 20. Okay. As fast as you are, um, I think that Molly's maternal instincts will kick in. Mm -hmm. Her maternal instincts will kick in and give her the adrenaline needed to just give her a chance to activate Lightning Rod um, before you connect. Now, because this is technically not a ranged attack, 
I'm going to say that um, the the hit will still strike, but with half the damage. Half the damage goes into bullet, which is still doubled because it's super effective. I was but gonna say the other half. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, should it just be the physical hit, as though he got hit by a sword, but the electricity didn't take effect? I think that's actually a w good way to put it. So roll your. It still hurt. <laughs> Yeah, roll your damage, Cedric. <laughs> sure. It's a lot better. Without the electricity, <laughs> right? Roll it without the electricity and then tell me what the electricity would be. Uh, two 32. points of that is electricity. Two points? Yes. It's the last oh. The last die. is It's a D6 of le electricity damage. And the charge, oh, the charge adds two right. D6 because it's like the force. Got it, um, got it, got it, got yeah. it. All right, so so uh, it's thirty one points of physical damage. Okay, so it's thirty one points of physical normal damage to bullet. Thirty one points of normal damage to bullet, and then Molly, you will take in two points of electricity damage. So the electricity, you actually see the electricity transfer from your blade towards Molly's body, and now her body is slightly crackling with electrical energy. Similar to what happens with you, you Cedric, when you channel your bracer power, right? So yeah, in a, just in a flash, Molly Molly has her sword out again. She's she's activated the the fire the fire setting, and she's moving towards Cedric, like just just not not necessarily thinking, just in a rage, just. <laughs> Just coming toward him, not really thinking. Oh, I thought I. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, they did so... get to hear poor Bullet cry out in pain. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Cedric yeah, she... will draw his other his his axe. No, no, I step in front of him and I shove him off. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna shove Cedric? Okay. Yes. All right, roll a, roll a might, and if Cedric wants to resist, he'll have to make an opposed might if he wants to resist. All right. Will Ooh. Cedric resist? Yeah. <laughs> okay, roll an opposed, roll opposed might then. 21. Ooh, That's 21, good. Stunned. Oh, my bad, my bad. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. My bad. All right. <laughs> Ignore that. You will, you will try to push him back, but that's not will not be. Hey, enough. She, no, no, she beat me. I, that was my damn goal. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So you push will, you will actually back. be able to push Cedric back with that. I did it. That never okay. happens. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what? How is happening? You know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Cedric. What the hell? Molly's still coming, by the way. <laughs> oh, Molly, no, sword down. How about Cedric activates his, his this, was my fault. this was my fault. Wait, wait, wait. I told him to. I thought it would be funny. I'm sorry. Is is Molly still coming? I, yeah, I do think he's trying I, to stop I, Molly. It's okay. So... It's okay. It's okay. You, you Come told on, him to put something on Cedric. Well, oh. not Cedric specifically. I didn't know what would happen, but. Mm. It will cast magic on my, on Cedric. It's not magic, but not really. <laughs> kind of looks like it, I it think. It felt like magic. <laughs> I was in the moment. They're so cute. They just like cookies. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Molly, sword down. She says, I, I, I can hear them. I don't I create berries. I create so many berries. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt anyone here. But if he hurts Bullet again, then I will. Maybe. Yeah, no. What? What? I... Are we ready to go? And like, Cedric will act. <laughs> no. no. His arm, Cedric. He just pulls out his blade and starts cutting his arm. Jeez, blood nades! What the? <laughs> I'm lightning over to chase. All right, all right. One at a time. One oh at a time. Oh my God! What is happening? <laughs> so. And this is how if anyone wants to do anything, we'll, we'll have to roll initiative. So if anyone wants to do anything, we'll roll initiative. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna make a bullet. I take all my take a berry. Yeah, I give him a bunch. <laughs> bullet can take a berry. <laughs> um, he would want to swoop Molly away. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so, 
If so, go ahead. Yeah. If if things are escalating, Molly's gonna Molly's gonna call to Bullet and say, "Bullet, give me a rush." She's gonna take off. <laughs> and Wait, he will but too. you're not. It's not your turn though. It's Bullet's turn. Oh damn it. Okay. It's Bullet's <laughs> turn. Bullet is Bullet is sleep, sweeping you away. Okay. So yeah. So kind of just like tackling her knees, you know, to where like she'll flip <laughs> over onto him and he'll just be like taken off flying through the cave. So oh, he so he'll fly too. away. That's so cool. Yeah, a, a giant bat can fly. Noir <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is going to spend an AP and use a swift action and a stand action to disarm Cedric of both his weapons. Um, okay. He has to probably make a combat roll or a stealth roll. I'll say that's a might. I'll think that's a might. Against her focus. All right, roll your focus and roll your might. Well, not so good. Oh wait, I have to do two focus rolls. Two focus rolls? Okay. Yeah. It's it's still he still beats it, so he does not get this arm. Uh, for both of them, like he has to roll for both. He rolled. So does he roll twice, or you just yeah. re-roll your roll? So, I mean, for Ella, she's doing um, two separate actions, so he has to resist two oh. separate times. Two separate that's times. Like one weapon, then that's for the other weapon, basically. What is your secondary weapon? The axe. Cedric? All right. So the axe, the axe, um, telekinetically, uh, is swept from your hand. Now, does the axe just fall to the ground, or does it get? Like, it just falls to the ground. It, it just falls to the and ground. Walker, All right. Can you please put your weapons away? Can we, no. I really. <laughs> <laughs> want a fight here? Can you? You've already me? asked for a one. <laughs> All right, roll. Yeah. Okay. So roll. I'm gonna allow Ella to roll a charm if she wants a charm, or an intimidate if she thinks that is more appropriate. Whichever one. Charm sixteen, which is actually decent. It's relatively mm -hmm. decent. Kenna, you're up. Yeah, I said I was going to use my bracer to uh, make everything black. Or take out all the light and let ah. the shadow everywhere. Okay, you can easily do that. So in that entire vicinity, you'll, you'll bring down your staff. It is pitch black. Nobody can see a thing. It is completely pitch black. Kenna, however, can see perfectly fine. You hear a thud and bullet hits the ground. <laughs> I'm just it's kidding. Just, it's he's a, it's a like bat. A, it's, like a, it's like a cube, though. So he, if he's up, he can be like a cube. Not the yeah, whole cave. Whole I'm whole not that powerful. Not the whole cave, but the the right now, everyone who's in play is in total magical darkness. You cannot see a thing unless you're Kenna. Actually, no, that's a good point. Yeah. So dark vision it cancels out that. You, if you have infrared goggles, it cancels out that because it's magical darkness. Cool. I have infrared sight. No, I can still see. <laughs> I have a flashlight. <laughs> Wait, he said it cancels out that because it's magical, didn't it? Cancels that. It's magical. You mm -hmm. cannot pierce. <laughs> no technological device or special ability can pierce through magical darkness, unless you have magical light. You need magical light or magical something specifically to pierce through magical. Darkness. Is is it possible to to make it so people can see? Cedric and I, and not just me. You can control the but darkness everything else. however you want. All you right, can control I want... the darkness however you want. All right, I want people to be able to see Cedric and me, and everything else is black. You can do that. Um, I want to touch Cedric on his shoulder since he's right there, and I'm gonna tell him to calm down. This is a misunderstanding. You're going crazy like you do. Relax, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> yeah, roll a diplomacy. All right, all right, all right. Uh, oh, okay. um, 16. So that's two 16s, two 16 diplomacies with Cedric, which is pretty good. I'm going to use the four point stunts. Um, and I'm going to use, I remember, there's role playing stunts. If, yes, 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 yes. And I'm going to use. Um, role playing um, stunts, go ahead. Sway the crowd. So that everyone's listening to me and everyone's ah. gonna try and calm down. 
Okay. Um, I can do it twice, so it affects it? two people. So uh, I'm gonna try and sway everyone that was super aggressive. Hopefully everyone here is that I. I don't remember. I was. Which is. Um... Yes. And Molly the person who cut his wrist. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I know. I agree. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that hasn't oh, technically God. happened yet. That's why we're doing initiative work. But you that hasn't do know yet. that he That's had why I tackled said Cedric earlier, so... Yeah, so if big, you're gonna big, think big. about aggression overall. I'm gonna do the big guy and Molly and Cedric. And that's my turn. Alright. So that should be... Okay, so she just did rouse the crowd, so at least for the next round, you guys are calmer, calmer than you were before. Just to be clear, uh, she, uh, Molly does feel more calm now because of Kenna's ability. Okay, so yeah, she'll she's still on bullets back, but she's gonna she's gonna uh, get down and she she has uh, she has the flaming sword in her hand and she'll 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 deactivate it. She'll say, "Oh, okay, okay, okay. Look, look, <laughs> look. I I was I was protecting my Pokemon. Okay, if you don't hurt him anymore, then then we'll be fine." Maybe the diplomacy act was deceiving, but I will not stand for magic being cast on my friends in my establishment. Since you arrived into our home, your creature tried to magically attack Cedric and Kenna is pushing him away, defending them. This stops now. If anyone else in your party strikes one of mine, there will be no more Mr. Nice Dwarf. Are you ready as well? Okay, I'm gonna take, um note of what Theo said and what Kenna said, because I don't know what the hell just happened. I just know Cedric's trying to kill people with lightning. Um, so what I'm going to do is activate combat magic. I'm not going okay. to use it, I'm just activating it. <laughs> just, okay. I don't even have a weapon, I'm in a bikini. But <laughs> <laughs> that is your weapon, am I right? No. Hey, that's my wife you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm going to activate it because now I can use my uh, magic as my strength. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take note of what uh, Theo did. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, help uh, with the intimidation check. And I'm going to say, listen, I am Andrea mother freaking <laughs> Stormbringer. And uh, I have killed a lot of people. This is our home. You will stop, or I will tear you all apart with magic. So I make myself clear. And uh, I also will, have, will uh, do an intimidate check, if that's okay. Yeah, with your new strength, which is magic. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 19 is extremely, extremely persuasive intimidate for Could I, that could side I to back down. Could you, I'm sorry? Could I sway the crowd as well? With a stunt, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, you I may. Have five yes, you may. I like, I'd like to get the mage who is cast, who, which is, you know, Ella. Sorry. <laughs> I'd like to get her and the guy who's, you know, the guy who tackled Cedric. So those, those two for sure. That's okay. who I want to. Just leave him alone. <laughs> With that, I believe that there's a good enough of an argument to be made that both sides now can hopefully resolve this peacefully and stand down. That's what I'm seeing. So let us role play that. Uh, so Cedric, who was breathing very heavily, like eyes started to go like bloodshot. Um, I'm assuming like his bracer reacted to his rage. So like the wind would kind of pick up at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess after the two charms, uh, he would like start to calm down. Um, he won't put away his weapons, but he'll like lower his his like attack stance and then kneel down and pick up his other weapon. But just he's gonna hold them, but not like in an aggressive manner. He won't say anything. He'll just be staring intently at like where the mage was standing before okay. the darkness. Okay. 
Um, Noir, the mage, not Andre, the mage. Okay. <laughs> the mage. <laughs> so Chase sees the darkness go up, and he removes the blade from his wrist. And you hear in the silence, dark ghost fire. Fire to light my darkness. I'm here to find my path in the darkness and to help others find their path when they cannot see. The light shall lead us all to safety through the paths of this world and into the next. Your maker, help me. And he's moved towards wherever Cedric was at as he's walking, as he's talking. And, and he triggers sunny day. Okay. Oh, you use the weather control. Nice. Yep. You trigger sunny day and magically the darkness dissipates and this this big giant aura of light, almost like a warm sunlight, is emanating from Chase's body. This big um, and that's probably something Kenna hasn't seen before. Somebody piercing yeah. through your darkness. This big aura of light coming from what? from uh, Chase. Look, this is all a misunderstanding. This is yes, my yes. fault. I got carried away with the Pokemon things. They're really cute. I apologize. <laughs> There's nothing wrong happening. You'd be surprised how much they have in common with us, actually. The gods and saving the world. And they're good people, guys. And their animals speak well of them. And I trust them. And this is my fault. So if you all want to tackle somebody, here I am. <laughs> but uh, I think we need to relax. You gotta be able to I'm see me first. Very sorry. <laughs> you gotta be able to catch me first. <laughs> and uh, I will, I will illuminate. I will make his bright sunny day even brighter in a warm glow that's calming Ooh. for everybody. Yes, you can. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Cedric will Cedric will will turn to Kenna and say, This is where your pranks have gone too far, Kenna. People can die at the drop of a hat now. Grow up. And then he's gonna walk away. <clears throat> Molly is still, still still kind of raging, sorry. Uh, Molly is Molly is still quite upset. She's now that she can see Bullet, she's she's uh, gone up to him. She's trying to assess the damage. She says, she, she just says, Bullet, <sighs> Bullet. What what happened? What why did you why did you do that to him? He just kind of shakes his head and presses up against her, like burying um, his face in her shoulder. Does he look relatively injured? Yeah, I was gonna yeah, ask. He does look relatively injured, yes. Okay, Molly, uh, does he need healing? I'm going to approach Molly and Bullet then, if I might. Yeah. She's she's hugging him, like stroking him. Um, excuse me. And she's uh, like she looks she looks up, she's <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Andrea's I'm quite tall. quite tall. Yeah, Molly also I'm in sorry, a bikini. I'm very tall. <laughs> like, also in a bikini, which Molly is finding very distracting at the moment. <laughs> I, yeah. I am yeah, telling her all. <laughs> um, but uh, Andrea is going to look, and she's going to say, "So, um, let me explain a few things to all of your group. Um, such attacks in Thedas are considered very dangerous. We uh, we actually stop." supernatural or magical attacks at all costs. It's very illegal and you get killed for doing it outside of a circle. That being said, your little friend, little friend, looks a little hurt. Do you mind if I, I'm a healer. You... Uh, uh, sure, if Bullet doesn't mind and she looks at Bullet. Um, he'll, he'll look at Molly for a little bit longer to see if she offers any sort of reassurance. Yeah, she she's she's still she's still stroking him, and she, she says she says I think I think this one's all right, Bullet. Okay, uh, he, he you know flips his wings a bit, just kind of like you know a casual thing, and turns, shuffles slightly more to face her. Hi, um, I'll cast heal on him. Bullet, you'll feel a very uh, 
very pleasant, warm sensation as your wounds start to heal magically. And uh, it'll heal your wounds, not completely, you're not at full health yet, but it definitely helped a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. And I'm going to say that, that Fabian is watching this too. He was having a little bit of a panic attack when the darkness happened. But uh, now that it's very bright, he is... He, he originally was staring intently at the brightness of Chase, and now he's observing Andrea cast this magic, and he looks very entranced by it. And if it's okay, Hawk, um, I, I'd like Theo to go after Cedric. Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. I imagine yeah. he's kind of left in kind of a brisk pace, so he's just kind of like, wait up, uh, short legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how far he would have made it, but he was walking yeah. towards the temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, Theo's gonna uh, follow him. Well, I mean, Bullet looks uh, pleasantly surprised, and um, she might be able to gather from his, you know, look and, and little nod that he seems grateful. So, no, don't do that again, especially to him. <laughs> My husband, a Templar, he's a knight who his entire. Like she's saying this to the group, not just to the furry animal that she's not really, a, she doesn't really assume understands, but he probably does because he's a Pokemon. I don't know. But she's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like now my husband is a, a Templar, which is a knight dedicated to defending people from magic. So when you cast magic on him, he takes it a little worse than the average person. Do you understand? Do not attack him. He defends all of Thetis from such things. He'll nod with a solemn expression. Thank you. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> As a man of the law myself, the lieutenant says, I can understand. You just will look at Tiffany real quick and say, and you call me the impulsive one. Uh, you've been in a fight how many times since we arrived? I'm only trying to protect all of you. What you do I mean, for family. You tackled the man in a metal suit. <laughs> he was going to trap my people where a dragon god was trying to kill them. This is all a big misunderstanding. You also, like you're... you also challenged the dragon god to a fight. Yeah, I'm no, I'm not okay that's, with that. That's only if I was the yeah, last one like... standing. That's only if I was yeah, the, the last thing one is, between though, them and you guys getting all away. Of us to get to you. I wouldn't have also it. populated city of round of people. But yeah. you don't just say fight me to a god. You Guys. get out of dodge to an area where it's not surrounded with people who can just all die. Like, Innocence die in war, we're the important ones and we're the ones who are gonna save the world. And we're we gonna have for a reason. We have these new people by us that can Tiffany be allies. Had a slap chase. You should stop talking at the slap. Can we not talk about killing innocents? We are not I above anyone. Not of Cedric either. <laughs> I'm gonna say we call innocents. I'm saying innocents die. They don't have they to though. Have to. We're smarter. No one has to die. Exactly. Like the order of things. Sometimes you got to make big choices, and sometimes you can't control the thousands that die because of your actions. Yeah, there's also not being stupid. <clears throat> being brave and being stupid, same thing. Um, not always. <laughs> That's that guy. That's the guy who stormed off. Okay, invaders. I've already offered you meals once. Why don't I would you like get... to correct that word. Just call us visitors. Uh, you weren't invited. Um, I offer you meals. I. Thank you. Uh, offer you a place to sit and maybe have a private discussion because this doesn't seem like one you want to be having in front of strangers. I would like an explanation at some point though. I'm going to go put on real clothes. Oh, okay. I totally understand. <laughs>